all about the Washingtons, autobiographical uh, family sitcom that follows a gentleman named Joey Washington who is retiring from a long career as legend hip-hop royalty. And that man who plays this gentleman is sitting to my right right now in the in, Rich Eisen Show studio, Adidas. Joseph Simmons, a.k.a. Reverend Ron. Good to see you, Reverend. Chillin', man. What's up? Sit you in your Adidas tracksuit. Yes, man. Every day, same thing. My closet is nothing but this. S different colors? Black. Or just black? White. I got one burgundy one. How many do you? How many? How many Adidas tracksuits do you own? What's the total? Do you know the grand total? Well, they ship some every couple of weeks, so I give them to charity also. Sure. And I have hundreds and hundreds in my closet. Between that and my Reverend collar, I go from if it's a a, a, a nice event, yes. I wear my Reverend collar, yes. my, my hat. Yes. And if it's just a place to come and talk sports, like with you, yes. I wear my Adidas suit. Okay, so I like it. So, so you are here in your sports. Adidas suit. So let's talk a little sports. What are the Knicks your team? Knicks is my team, but I'm very interested in to see what what LeBron is going to do. I'm, I'm I want to see is it even possible to beat these Warriors? It doesn't seem possible. What do you think? Is I it, don't think it is possible for the current. LeBron Lakers roster to beat the Warriors. Right. Correct. And, so th and I'm I'm keen to see who has a roster right now to beat the Warriors. Well in a seven game series did with Carmelo everything on the line. Carmelo just go over to Houston? Carmelo's joining Houston, yes. And and one would have to think one would think again again, he just he just had Paul George and mm -hmm. Russell Westbrook mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. And it didn't work. Right. We'll see if Harden, the defending MVP, and Chris Paul is a better yeah, connection for him. Yeah, Harden got MVP this year. He did really good. I wonder if they're going to let Carmelo shoot a lot because Harden shoots a lot. That's a great that, question. Is how, so how, 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 do they, how do they split up the basketball? Because Carmelo loves to shoot. So I just was wondering, um, and they shipped, what's his name, off to Canada? What's his name? Um, Kawhi. And if they'd have got Kawhi, I think we'd have a different the conversation. The Lakers you're talking yes. about. If they'd have ended up with Kawhi, it'd be a different conversation. Well, the issue with that, Reverend, is that that if Kawhi was able to be acquired by the Lakers, mm -hmm. I don't. it might have been LeBron, Kawhi, Lonzo Ball, and a bag of balls, essentially, to roll out. They would have probably had to give him up way too much to get Kawhi, but maybe he'll come in free agency. How do you think LeBron in this town – Knowing the town as well as you, you, you yeah, do, yeah, all the time. Will, will, how do you think he will grab this town? I think he loves it. He's here to do business. His kids go to school here. He is here to do business. He has, he has it's a an lot interesting to, way that you did that. He, I, I agree. He's here to he's do here business. He's here to do business. He, he's here. He's, he's ending in a place where he built his nice new house. His, his children are here. He has his business partners here. He's doing lots of television stuff. He's speaking out. He's building schools. He's a smart man. He's very grounded. And I think, you know, he gave Cleveland what they, he gave him what they wanted. Right. Gave him a championship, gave, took him to the championship a couple times. Um, my ego, I might have stayed, tried to make Cle you know, but he's pretty grounded and smart, lovable, and giving. Mm -hmm. And he's not letting his ego get in the way. So I think that he's doing the things to set up his retirement. So um, when, who was your, your Nick of all time? Who's your Walt Clyde Frazier? You did not and Earl stutter. Monroe. I'd oh. have to split between those two, and I probably put them right together because I can't diss either one for the other. But them two together, yes. I've never seen anything like it. Clyde and the Pearl. Clyde and Pearl. I saw the Pearl the other day on the train. Now I run into a lot of celebrities. You know, this happens. I'm like, I was scared to go say hi to him, and then he said to me, and this would blew my mind. I said, Hi, Mr. Uh, Earl Pearl. Mm -hmm. Just shivering. This is like a couple, like a couple of months ago. He's like, I knew that was you in the Adidas. I was like, I can't believe as a kid, I used to ride this Amtrak train with my father to Baltimore. So I guess he was on his way to Washington. He had some business out there. Mm -hmm. And my father and I, before he passed, God rest his soul, would watch Earl the Pearl. For him to be mentioning my name being synonymous with Adidas blew my mind that he even knew who I was. It was just a mind-blowing moment to be on the same Amtrak train mm -hmm. as Earl the Pearl. It blew my mind. And when you were achieving your legendary status at the very beginning right, of right, your right, career right, doing right, that, right. I'm just trying to think of who the Knicks were. Was that Bernard King, the Bernard King era I, I, Knicks, right? I remember. Hubie Brown coaching the Knicks with Bernard King out there. I don't remember. I remember that moment. I think it was even before that because Bernard King was after Earl of Pearl. Yes. As a kid, I was looking at Earl of Pearl, Neil Walk, mm -hmm. um, 
you know, the the whole Phil Jackson, didn't he play for the Knicks? He sure did. So, see, I was just a kid. So yeah. Phil Jackson, With Red Neil Holt, Walk, Red Hat, Red Holtz. Yeah, that's coach. that's my era of really watching it and falling asleep on the couch with my father. Jo- Joey, get up. Jo- Joey, get up, go on to bed. You sleep. Yeah. Little Dad, I'm awake. Nice. But I'm talking professionally when you were starting to Oh, 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 oh. Professionally when I started begin- prof- when I became run, mm-hmm. I guess it was Bernard King. I didn't know what the question was. Yeah, yeah. I guess it was Bernard scoring, what, 40-some-odd points. Well, he had back-to-back World 50 free points. Around then. World be free. <laughs> it's a name I have World not thought of before. World be free! He was amazing. He was amazing. He, he was amazing. Could you imagine if there player. were three-point shots for World be free? There was like, no three-point shots then? No. He just shooting them, and they didn't only counted for two. Bernard King was my guy. You know, I'm, I'm 49. I'm from Staten Island. I'm 53. Okay, so we're not too far apart. Right. But Bernard King was that... Uh, that was my mm-hmm. fall in love with the next guy. He had back to back fifty Gerald points. Wilkins nice. Gerald being, Wilkins. you know, his brother was Duncan. Dominique, yeah. but, but people didn't give Gerald his props. Gerald was bad on the Knicks. That was a bad, bad, right. bad meaning good. That, that yes, boy, right. that yeah, I, I want to make sure that everybody understand what I mean by bad. Yes, exactly. Uh, all right, I want to take a sixty second break. Come back, talk a little bit more sports in your yeah. career with you, if we can. I and love it. I'm I'm happy. Fantastic. This is a fly office you got here. Thank you. I I will take that and run it with is it. Fly. Thank you. Thank you. Reverend Run is here. Joseph Simmons, all about the Washingtons. Check it out on Netflix. Streaming on Friday. We're back in sixty seconds. Reverend Run is here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, what was it like when you were? beginning your ascension of your career with run dmc what was that like for you uh i was coming out of being a a 14 15 year old kid that worked with an artist called curtis blow Mm -hmm. i was the son of curtis blow i rapped with him sometimes on the weekends Mm -hmm. and i broke my arm i used to dj for him and i kind of lost my job which was fine because he was about to explode so he picked up a guy that was older named davy d so as my arm healed and it was too late to get back with curtis and i did quite a few shows with curtis blow me and my friend Daryl from Hollis, Queens, was telling my brother and Curtis, we got this other group that we put together. So putting together Run DMC was really, it was a big deal for me. And Curtis Blow at that time was called the king of rap. And then it was only right that Run DMC, me being son of Curtis Blow, mm-hmm. being the prince, yes. became king. So wh- why did you choose your persona? How did that come about? Um, Well... The whole Hollis Queens vibe was swag. You know, you got the Adidas, you got the hat, you got the way that the, truthfully, here's a funny thing. Mm -hmm. My way of being run was I was Dr. Joey, Dr. J. I had a six and a 32. And every time I rhyme, I actually thought I was playing basketball. Take Mm -hmm. a stand, my man. Everything in my mind, when I'm kicking my rhyme, I'm a ball player. Mm -hmm. So that's basically it. Everything comes from the sw- – and you got to think about it. On the basketball court, there's a lot of crap talking. Yes. And it might be a rhyme or two. Went around under my back. Up, oh, you can't catch me. It's like that. You know, something like that. Mm-hmm. So you kick a rhyme, shoot it in somebody's face, talk some crap. So that's all basketball and, 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 and rap are kind of synonymous. If you think about Allen Iverson, the swag that he had. it wasn't. Allen was not only incredible in basketball, mm-hmm. the way he dressed – the way he acted, his attitude was very rap. So it it, it kind of goes hand in hand. Yes. And Basketball so, and rap. Right. And then MTV comes along and, and they put us they put Rockbox on as the first um one of the first um maybe African American groups on MTV. And it was a big deal. But I didn't know. They came up to me, I'm just like young, I'm probably 18, 19. Oh, your 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 video is on MTV. And I'm like, what's MTV? <laughs> But I've, I've never heard of it. MTV was brand new. Sure. So it didn't, they were jumping up and down. My management, I didn't know what it was. What was yesterday's anniversary, Chris? Yesterday was the 30th anniversary of the premiere of Yo! MTV Raps. With that Ed was Lover years and Dr. Dr. years later. Yeah. We were on before Yo! MTV Raps. But that wouldn't have been on the air if you weren't on the air well, first. Well, yeah, listen, from your mouth to God's ears, you won't catch me bragging. But I'm thankful. It. I'll say it. Well, thank you. You are most thank you, welcome. No, you're, you're most you. welcome. It's it's fact. It's thank truth. You. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's truth. And you know, we're we're talking today about one of the greatest collaborations of 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 all time, um, and your collaboration with Aerosmith is oh. is what is That's winning our cool. poll. Isn't that correct? Uh, it's right? winning right now. Yeah, forty percent. How did that come about? Um, oh, this is a good story. Years and years ago. 
before rap records were made, the DJ's job was to find records that no one knew what it was. And you would scratch out the name so the rival DJs wouldn't know. Hmm. So we would rap over this record in my mind called Toys in the Attic. I didn't know it was called Walk This Way. So we were in there, me and Daryl, DMC, mm -hmm. scratching up and making sure the vocals don't play on a record called Toys in the Attic. Rick Rubin, white dude, walks in and says, oh, you guys are playing Walk This Way. Says, no, we're not. We're playing Toys in the Attic. No, this is Walk This Way, Joey and Daryl. Mm -hmm. Let's make it over. Like, make it over how? We've never heard the lyrics. Now, we were scratching this record up for years, but a DJ would get in trouble if the lyrics came in, because you can't rap over top of Steven Tyler singing. So the DJ's in trouble if the lyrics and too much guitars show up. So the DJ's job is pst, bat, boom, 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 bat, pst. Any problem beyond that, you're a bad DJ. <laughs> you're a terrible DJ if it goes past pst, bat, boom, 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 bat. So Rick's, no, 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 go home and study the lyrics. I'm like, how? What is he saying? Back to the love no job need to come when I talk to my daddy, say? <laughs> You want me to say these li lines? What does he backseat love of own hide and need to cover when I talk to my daddy? Say, <laughs> ain't seen nothing till you're down on a muffin. Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this, D. So to, <laughs> to please Rick, we went home and it probably was a 45 at that time, so we had to slow it down. Mm -hmm. You have a 45 of walk this way. Now, yes. you take a 45 and put it on 33, it gets worse. Back you love right. God need <laughs> All right, we come back and we do the best we can. We're like, okay, you ready, Daryl? Now, Jam Master J, God rest his soul, is there. And we're like, backseat. And Jay's like, do better than that. You know how to switch off. Switch off. Give it your heart. So, okay, D, Jay's going to beat us up. Backseat, love, how did to come? But, you know, we were originally in the studio just trying to rhyme our rhymes yes. over that beat. Right. Rick Rubin changed that course and made us do a remake of it. They called up Aerosmith. Aerosmith, um, probably, I think they were in rehab at that time or something, dealing with something, I don't know. Right. And they came to the studio, cool as ever, nice guys. Steve got on the mic, Joe got on the guitar, collaboration, God's laughing, I'm laughing with God, number one hit. So they were brought in essentially because... To, to collaborate, because Rick Rubin said it would be a good idea yeah. to get them on it also. Boom. That's the story. Boom. I gave you a good, long story. It's a great story. That's the, the whole 45, 33. I gave it all to you, Rich. You've got it all. I haven't told it to many people that way. I appreciate you got how we used to scratch the record. You got a lot of stuff here. But I mean, <laughs> it's probably the way how fly this place is. It's like royalty in here. This guy is rich or something. What the oh, heck is going man. on? No, I just, got a, I just Look, got a good management team boy, here. Boy, they're great. Here at at t So that's amazing. That's amazing. That is the story of Walk This Way. Perfectly told. When was the last? To when was the last time you? you we toured with them for a while. We okay. toured with Aerosmith. We killed it. Um, it was us, Kid Rock, and Aerosmith. We'd open with Kid Rock, then we do the middle. No, we'd open and then we get on with Kid Rock and then we get on with Aerosmith. So we pulled on three parts of the show. Right. And we would do Walk This Way and end the whole show. So I opened and closed. Can't beat me. You can't, can't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> like you will open and you will go on with Kid Rock and you will close. King. <laughs> <laughs> Rev Run here on the Rich Eisen Show, man. This is great. So is there any uh, concept maybe to do a movie of the way that you started? I hear about it. You know, I don't talk about it much. I got, I, I leave the business in Daryl's hands. He's very smart. Uh -huh. We have like the number one logo in the world. I'm sure you see the Run DMC shirts of everywhere. Of course. Uh, I to leave call it, it straight out of Hollis, but I mean. Right, boom. It's but, uh, No, but I don't know if they're going to make a movie. I, I hear rumblings here and to the left here. I hear rumblings to the right here. And I'm just on my job at Netflix. I'm going to put out my TV That's show. Right. Me and my beautiful family, mm -hmm. all about the Washingtons. Yes, okay. And I, if they come along with a movie, I'm like Scooby-Doo. Who, who would you want to play you? Perhaps my son Jojo or Diggy. I don't know. Well, Maybe one of my kids. They, they're cool. Cube had O'Shea play him. O'Shea killed he did. it. He did. He killed it. He beat up that office. Car? Going far at the bar with Soyd. <laughs> <laughs> who would, so who would, who would, you, will you t tell this story you told me back in the green room? Who would be on the street in Hollis? Who did you see growing up in Hollis? You told me. Oh, 
Stephen A. Smith is from Hollis, Queens, two blocks from me. I live on 205 Street. Mm -hmm. Stephen A. Smith lives on 203rd Street. He walks down the block. What up, Joey? <laughs> you don't think nothing. He's not screaming. He's not like, one game? One game? You mean to tell me that block can't win one game? He's not that. He's just, what up, Joey? You see this tall guy walking down the block. I don't know he's in the sports. What up, Steve? Ain't nothing, Joey. Now I look on TV, he's like screaming and, and no sports inside out. Yeah. Uh, also, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar lived up the block from me when he was going to Power High School on 2 5th Street. So he was Lou Alcindor then. Lou right? Alcindor for sure. Yeah. Right on my corner though. So you, when you were walking down the street in Hollis, you didn't hear this? That was, that was Stephen A. after Porzingis got drafted. He did not say that. <laughs> he never said that to me. He just up, Joey. Just a tall guy, lanky, walking like this. That's amazing. So maybe he can uh, guest on All About the Washingtons on Netflix. There's Starting a chance. Streaming on Friday. I think he, I'm pretty all. fond of him. He's pretty fond of me. We're still cool. Hey. Hollis alumni. Yeah. I bet. So uh, tell me about this show, uh, how, how you how it came about, what you enjoyed I was, doing about it. Or? I'm going to try to shorten it on how long I had on here. Go I ahead. was on LL Cool J's uh, lip sync battle. I went to do Christmas in Hollis. Mm -hmm. It's mine and my business. And some guy <laughs> comes up with a pair of sneakers. Sign these for me, dude. I'm like, all right. Talk to my son, Aiden, dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm signing. I'm ready to do Christmas in Hollis. He goes, by the way, I'm LL Cool J's agent. I'm like, cool, man. So usually when somebody's a big Run DMC fan, they're not thinking about Run's House, my TV show. Mm -hmm. So my Brian is not thinking he's about to pitch to me that I should do a show like LLS, NCIS. Or what. Yes. So he's like, what do you think of scripted? And I'm like, and I'm never caught off guard. I'm like this. Mm -hmm. From Hollis, I'm just like jittery. I know what's coming. I did not expect him to say that. Like, again, usually a guy about his age grew up on Run DMC, Beastie Boys. You just happen to get your happy, your sneakers signed and be happy to be there. But he's, <laughs> he reached into a pocket I didn't expect. He's like, what do you think of doing scripted? Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, talk to my manager, Mike Lehman. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, he connects me to Amblin, Steven Spielberg's company, ABC, all these great writers and all these people's name is um, uh, Richard Weitz. Oh, yeah. He's a top he's, guy he's over a, at a, WME. A, I know him. He pulled together a team unstoppable mm -hmm. and next thing you know i got this big show on on netflix all because i went to do christmas and hollis at lip sync battle and, and now you got your, your own show streaming on netflix bam man that's the story i'm giving you details you are uh, you're getting like i'm getting you, down you're to getting granular you're getting granular yeah it's what by you way, understand that, by the way that 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 would be the name of my uh my hip-hop song granular getting gran yeah. Yeah, yeah i don't know how that would that getting sound? what granular Getting granular. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have a ring to it. Yeah, no. I'm trying to think of something that rhymes with granular. <laughs> so that, that would be like you just to not find a word that can rhyme. <laughs> can we just go with Eisen? Yes, you can rhyme with that. Because I flies in. I, I like it. Joe Biden. Something. <laughs> Oh, this has just been all kinds of fantastic. Thank you for coming on. Hey, man, preach on a Sunday, rap on a Monday. Y'all do what Run say to get better one day. Just because Rev Run rocks a collar don't mean I can't make a dollar. Yo, Rich, holla. Anytime. Check out, again, All About the Washingtons on Netflix streaming this Friday at Rev Run Wisdom on Twitter. Anytime. Anytime, uh, P E A C E. We, let's get Hollis and Staten Island together anytime right. right here on The Rich All Eisen Show. All it takes show. is a little ferry ride. That's, that's it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.